hello out there once again welcome back to my channel and like i've been telling you everything you need concerning lead good is right here on this channel if you are new to the channel i will encourage you to subscribe so that you'll be notified whenever we go um, live or whenever we upload new content and then if you are already a member i will want you to like if you think this video will be informative enough you can like and then you share as well with your team um, members okay so um, let's go let's dive straight into what we have to share any update available any update that we want to give okay so for some time now a lot of you have been asking me um, does the um, IP out or the global e-wallet has an app um, I've received this feedback for quite a number of time and then I want to um, give an update about that now the global e-wallet has an app okay so i'm going to take you through briefly how to set up your app so that you don't have to um, all the time go to the website before you can you know view your account balance or perform any transaction on your account so if you want to download the app it is very very simple okay i'm going to show you that briefly okay so if you want to download the app once you log into your website okay you could see from here that um, use your e-wallet on the go download the mobile application okay so once you download the mobile application i'm going to show you the how the app application actually looks like so this is it um let me show you briefly how the application looks like um all right so this is the application um where is it Okay, so I'm looking out for the application and then I will show it to you. All right, so this is it. This is the application. Okay, so um, this is it. When you go to the App Store or the Play Store, you should be able to see um, the app. Okay, that is it. That is what I have circled. So when you go to the App Store or the Play Store, you search for global e-wallet this is the icon the one in the circle okay let me circle it well so you can see so this very one okay this very one is the global e-wallet app so you see noun wallet you see noun wallet the noun is n-o-w and then wallet okay so once you search for it on the app store or the google play store and then you download the app okay the moment you try to log in when you try logging in you they will request for a merchant code you, you'll be requested to enter a merchant code how do you then get to know your merchant code so that is what i'm here to take you through okay so this is how to get your merchant code um when you go back to the app let me take this off when you go back to the um sorry when you go back to the website when you go back to the website um okay so when you go back to the website you just have to click on um the the now you see at your back of it just click on it your merchant code will be given to you okay um let me log in because the login has expired let me log in again um, this is copy my user ID then I log in okay or you can equally just beside your login you can equally click on take me to my mobile app okay but I want to log in first then I take you through that so I have to enter my password okay so once you log in once you log in, you just have to, um, once you log in and you are in the account, okay, once you log in, um, let me log out once again and then show you. So once you click on this, good. So let me go back and then show you again. So just beside your login, 
you click on take me to my mobile app so once you click on it okay it's going to give you the merchant what code that is needed to log in on the app so kindly take note you will need this merchant code to log in on the app so that is it found right here okay so i just have to go back to the app and then enter this code there let me enter this code on the app okay so that is my merchant code uh, let me see that is 18.91.11 so let me enter the merchant code here 18.91.11 18.91.11 so um, 18.91.11 good so you enter the merchant code right here okay so this is where you enter the merchant code once you enter the merchant code then you click on go ahead okay you just have to click on go ahead once you click on go ahead it will take you to your login um, page it will take you to your login page where you have to enter the id okay when you click on go ahead where it will take you to the login page where you have to enter the id so let me search for my id then i do the entering let me search for my id okay so um my network is a bit slow but i'll take you through um gradually so i'm going to enter my merchant code here um sorry that is my login id 2709 um 372 372 okay so let me go back and then click enter my password okay the next thing is to enter my password okay so um, okay all right so boom let me enter my let me just log in all right so i'm trying the login to see if uh, the network is a little slower but we'll be able to log in successfully okay that is it so the login is here the login is here logging in the network is quite slow all right so this is the login page this is the login page um, I'm using I'm combining um, zoom with um, you know the video recording so but the zoom is quite slow it's running quite slow but I think it's what um, it would make sense if i show you whatever that i talk about okay so that is it this is the interface okay then once you get the interface once you've been able to enter the merchant code and then you have entered your username or your user id which is given to you by the global e-wallet through your email the next thing is to enter your password once you enter your password okay once you enter your password you should be able to login let me see if i can share my screen from here i think this one will be a little faster uh, okay so um So let me go back. Um, I'm sharing my screen on the different phone. The other phone is running quite slow. I want to use this one so that we can move really fast. Okay, so once you log in, if you look below the screen, we have overview. Okay, we have overview. And then we have activity. We then have activity. The activity actually displays the transactions that you have done. 
all transactions that you have done on the um, account then we have withdraw so with the withdraw you have um two ways you have the bitcoin and then accounts okay we have the bitcoin and then the account so you can see from the above your account balance okay from the above you can see your account balance and then also we have cards and then we have profile we have profile um, the most important thing I want to talk about is found at the profile. So that is where you get to um, log in um, with your um, either bank account details, um, your card or wire transfer, whichever uh, means you want your funds to be transferred. So when you go to profile, that is where it is found. Okay. So um, let me quickly log into the profile. So once I click on profile, you would actually see your profile. You actually see your profile, which contains your information, your user ID, your address, whatever information you logged in on the global e-wallet website. It is found at your profile. Then also, um, and then also, the most important thing I want to let you know is um, my account. That is where you got to, um, you see, the first one is the bank account, the second one is wire transfer, the third one is um, prepaid cards, and then credit cards, okay? So you can actually add account. Look at the top of the screen, the right corner of the screen. You can actually see add account. So once you click on add account, you can choose add bank, wire profile, or other prepaid cards. Okay, so you can add your account, whichever means you want to transfer or withdraw your funds through. You can add them on this, um, um, you can add them at a certain sections. Okay, and then also um, you can equally, when you come to withdraw, when you come to withdraw, you can equally add your BTC because you don't, I, I do not have sufficient funds. If I have funds in my BTC wallet, Okay, I can, or if I have funds on funds in my account, I can actually withdraw through BTC. But because there are no funds, I cannot do that. And then we have um, account. For account, when you click on account, it will actually display the accounts that are available. If you have really entered your account, either your bank, wire profile, prepaid cards, credit cards, if you have done that at the set, um, settings section, you will see it displayed here. So once it's displayed here, you can actually choose which uh, medium you want your funds to be transferred through or you want to withdraw your funds through. Okay, so um, um, friends, this is the um, Global e-wallet IP out um, app. It is very simple to use and I will encourage each and everyone to be using the app instead of the website. The website is quite, um, when you log in on the phone interface, it looks quite small. But the app is very friendly. It is mobile or user friendly. You can actually use it and um, it, would, um, it would give you a nice interface to be able to navigate your account and everything. Okay, so this is the Global e-wallet IP out app. Kindly share this video with your team members. I know they will also need it as well because it will be very, very convenient to use this means okay to use the mobile app to navigate through your account and perform any transaction you want to do thank you so much i will see you in my next video with important updates like this if you are not subscribed make sure you are subscribed like the video if you think it was beneficial or it was informative and then make sure you leave your comments i am available 24 7 to reply to your comments thank you so much let us all grow together. Let us all live good and we would um, become the better version of ourselves we are looking out for. Thank you so much. See you in my next video.